Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going to see how we do this image with SketchUp, LobWork, V-Ray, and Photoshop. So that's the final render, and that how it's how it turned out in Photoshop. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, alright, alright. So it's glad to be back. I was absent for a few days, but now we're back. So today we're going to see how to make the you know scenes with forests or with a lot of trees with variations of trees and that these trees are free it's most awesome thing there so there's a plugin called lob work which you guys can download at ronin beckersman gumroad so here on screen i'm showing you the exact page i will also leave the link in the description below it's a freaking awesome plugin if you guys can support the guys of Lobwork too with with uh, purchasing other plugins, it's also cool. So Ron and Breckerman uh, released Scatter, and he, with a, in association with Lobwork, he released another set of plants and trees. But this one is going to be for free, so that's awesome. So you guys, you guys just type zero and just type I want this. Once you download it, install it. It's very easy to install. You don't have to have like maximum uh, capacity you're, you're going to have three you know three icons in your tools right so one is going to be for the trees the other one is going to be to modify the properties of the trees and the third one is more like a help section or a how to use the plugin section so if this tutorial is not that clear over there it's going to be much more specific to how you can use this plugin so that's awesome it's going to show how the different different types of variations of trees that you have and there are about 180 free trees that you can have available so it's so awesome and you have like a help section and you know the computer requirements so um since this tutorial wants to first you know give the link to the free uh, or share what they share with us you know the, the free trees uh, we're going to just see a very fast overview of how to use it and how you know a render was done with it so first of all uh, what is important to see is um, first tool which was which is the the you know the one that has the trees libraries what you have to do basically is you have images of the trees you have right there you just click on them and then click on the screen and voila they appear the good thing i mean the magic thing about this is that they appear like in a low poly way what this means is that it's not a very heavy tree in the model because if it was very heavy then you know it would make any sense it would be just impossible to work with the rest of your your projects so it just loads them in a very low res uh, model and when you render it it is going to be high res right so when you open the other the other tool the plant attribute editor once you select the tree that you want to modify the you have a series of options so if you want uh, that tree but in a younger version or in a middle grow ver version or in a fully grown version there are different types of trees for you know that species and if you want them for winter, for fall, for autumn, for spring, they also are shown in a different way. Like, for example, for winter, uh, you, you will have uh, trees that are without leaves. Or for autumn, you will have trees with uh, yellow leaves. You, here, you guys can see a variation of all the trees that you have and shrubs. It's They are so awesome, and they're very, very high quality. These guys just did an awesome job with it. So uh, what I did here was load all of these um, into a piece of grass using the crowd plugin that I, I showed you guys how to use it in another video, which I will link right now. Um, so I basically just you know selected this the surface, selected the trees that I had loaded onto the model. If you haven't loaded them, they're not going to appear. So I just you have to load them first like on the interface and then select them and then just um, press uh, make crowd and it's that easy and it's that simple it's it's a very awesome tool and you will have different variations of the trees 
different sizes, you know, it's a very good tool. So, so the scene that, uh, that we rendered didn't have much magic to it, just a lot of trees scattered, uh, a pathway in the middle, and the trees, and the sun, right? So that's the render process which uh, I think I'm watch I'm speeding up a little bit it did take a while I mean you guys can't abuse it you can't you guys can't put a whole forest if you your computer doesn't support it it's going to be slow but it's much better than having uh, the, the trees directly loaded into your 3d space and it's gonna take much more time so it's it does save time right so now for the post-production process which is also interesting but it wasn't you know it's also interesting so i just loaded a, a sky from 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 google and the important thing here because this was uh, a shot that was like against the sun uh, like yeah with the sun in front uh, what i did was just put a sun so you guys can uh, search for a sun flare in photoshop in google and once you have that you guys can also with a soft white brush in overlay mode or an orange brush put it where the sun is going to be and also obviously this image is going to be in screen mode so you know how it gives it that effect it's so awesome and yeah that that's basically the image you know like obviously you have to fix the contrast you have to fix the the color balance you know i want it maybe a little bit warmer side of the image but without losing the bluish part of the sky um but it's a very it was a very fast image obviously the grass needs work the people need work like the whole composition needs work but it was just an image done uh, the purpose of this tutorial so you guys can see how to use this image right so thank you guys for watching thank you guys i will leave all the, the links in the description below and just subscribe it's so awesome to have you guys right subscribe like comment and share these videos thank you for your support see you later